spinning. The spinning cahalli was floppy and it caught that. And as I furled it up, it twisted around there and twisted and twisted and then bound up like that. And then it hooked under again and twisted more. Couldn't go that way, couldn't go that way. Couldn't furl, couldn't unfurl, couldn't do anything. up and she is a flying so uh, we've never had this before we're going seven knots so um, it's different so we've just taken a vase of action we got out of the shipping lane because this little bad boy is getting closer and closer These mud crabs have lost a claw each, um, so it's you can't tie them up beautifully, but we will tie it the best we can.
yesterday. It was a very eventful day. So we had a beautiful day sail. We had oh, 40, 45 knots. It was pretty crazy, but nutshell did the right thing and the headsaw was fantastic. And then we came into anchor at the end of the day and the spinnaker halyard got wrapped up in the headsaw furler. So we got to a stage where we couldn't furl it and we couldn't, whatever the opposite is, let it out. We couldn't go one way or the other. 40 knot wind. We went backwards and forwards in Owen Channel, trying everything to get this thing wrapped up. And eventually um, we came in, we anchored, like 30 knots still blowing on the anchorage. And some young, lovely people from a nearby boat jumped in their tinny, well, their tender, came over and the four of them finally managed to wrap the uh, headsail up to stop the wind grabbing it again. It's been a very eventful anniversary so far. So the furler got all tangled up, couldn't furl it, couldn't unfurl it, 40 knots, pretty hairy. But the boys came to help, so just manually furling it, trying to get it out of the wind. Right, thanks fellas. Pretty. So that was yesterday, that was pretty stressful. In fact, that's probably the most stressful thing we've ever had happen on that shell. We Magnus thought the mast was gonna come down because the force on it was unbelievable. So anyway, that's all done. And this morning I've had a bit of a tidy up of the pantry and Magnus has been on deck and he's just told me that he thinks he might've got it all nearly unwrapped so I'm just gonna go up and see where he's up to. See ya! So we had to cut lines and one of the lines was too high so we had to put a knife on the end of the boat hook. This is all in 40 knot wind. It was pretty scary and it was pretty crazy so uh, now we've got to somehow sort the headsail out. Um, well, this was my contraption for the line that I had to cut to get it um, untangled. Then was swinging in the breeze at about the first spreader, or the spreader level. So then I had to hook onto that somehow, and untangle it all. So I used this and I put a, I put, hang on, I'll be back. I taped a treble is ultra sharp onto the hook like that I managed to hook the line with the treble so then I could control the line with this bit of VB cord and untangle it all never want to go through that again and I've changed the angle that the spinnaker, spinnaker halyards come down now so that they less chance that they'll foul on the top of the um, filling system. So what happened? Well, the, the, spinnick, the spinnaker halyard was a bit floppy, and as I was, as it was quite windy when we were coming in here and furling, um, as I was furling the, right, here's an example. That's the, fur, that's the furler, at the top there's a pulley that sticks out a bit, right? And this is the spinnaker sheet. Spinnaker halyard. So as I was turning, the spinnaker halyard was floppy and it caught like that, like that. And as I furled it up, it twisted around there and twisted and twisted and then bound up like that. And then it hooked under again and twisted more. So then you had that arrangement. Couldn't go that way, couldn't go that way. Couldn't furl, couldn't unfurl, couldn't do anything. So that's when we had to manually furl the sail all the way around the furling foil. With lucky three guys from another boat came over. So thanks to, uh, to the fellas there, and we managed to furl it up. So now what I did, I what I did this morning, I slid a shackle up here, right, onto the other spinnaker halyard, 
and as that shackle could lift this up, right, and then I got to that point, I pulled it back down again, then I lifted it up, then I pulled it down, then I lifted it up, and then I untwisted, and voila, it all came off. So there we go, it was three hours of my life wasted. We're just coming to shore. We're gonna have a look down there. Found. Found myself an oyster. Mm. Oh.